It is something you never forget, where you were, what you did, and what was said. Every marriage proposal is special, but one we heard about goes a bit beyond that. Tonight, only on News 3 at 6, reporter Dave Delosier has the story of the missing ring and the emergency proposal. It is the age-old question, how to ask, when to ask, and where to ask those four important words, will you marry me? So I'm a fourth-year student in the uh, PhD program at the Business School in Marketing. And for months, Sunaina Velagaletti has been writing her thesis on the ultimate in marketing, wedding proposals. I would sometimes come home and tell Kyle about these kind of, you know, just really thoughtful proposals that I would hear about. Which is anything but easy for a guy thinking of popping the question. I had to at least hit that, that level that she was hearing all these stories about. And a trip they had planned to Europe would provide a romantic setting. For a ring, Kyle went online and ordered one special that he knew she loved, and that's where the problem began. You know, I think I had uh, three or four days before we were, we were ready to depart, and they finally shipped it, and, and then I realized it probably wasn't going to get there in time. Three hours after the wheels went up on their flight to Europe, the ring arrived at Kyle's home in Mount Horeb. But not to worry, in hopes it would catch up with them, Kyle's brother shipped the ring to London, only to run into yet another problem. The ring was stuck in a shipping facility, and they weren't going to be able to, to deliver it at all. The only thing delivered was disappointment. I mean, I was teasing him, but the whole time I was like, how are you going to take a girl to Europe and not propose to her? And, you know. Sunaina and Kyle came back to Madison, while the ring, for some unexplained reason, went to Rapid City, South Dakota. Definitely no plan B, but I, I was going to come up with something. Three weeks later, the ring finally made its way back to Madison. I've got the ring in my hand. I'm thinking, all right, now i got the ring. Now I need to really buckle down and start thinking about ways to make this, this proposal happen. Which was precisely the time Kyle's cell phone rang. I was telling him I looked down and there's just blood everywhere. And... She'd cut her finger while doing dishes, which sent them both here. She had come in for a minor related injury which we were taking care of her, and partway through the encounter that I had with her. Oddly, strangely, uh, almost immediately clicked in my head that that was going to be the perfect time and place to, to do this. He was, you know, trying to calm me down and make me feel comfortable and everything, and then gets on his knee all of a sudden. I think for sure we were more surprised. And my response was just like, Ser seriously? Are you kidding? Her answer is a new last name on the admission bracelet. A lot of excitement and happiness in the room at the time. An engagement photo taken outside the ER seems fitting for a couple searching for a unique proposal. Just happy coincidence that she decided to cut open her finger. That worked out <laughs> great. The things you do for love. In Madison, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. A uh, great story. Aside from the memory of that day, the couple also has kept the discharge order from UW Hospital. That's because on it, the doctor wrote, have a happy engagement and have a long, happy life together. Quite the story.